This is a good way to start a video, huh? We got some wild and crazy hair going on. I got, look at what's on my counter here. I got my dishes that have been drying overnight. And then these bowls over here. These are from all the freezer cooking I did yesterday. But wait, there's more. So to celebrate my brand new large family freezer meal packs that are out, packs seven, eight, and nine that you've been hearing so much about, Today, I'm cooking up Large Family Freezer Meals Pack 9, which is the dairy-free pack. Oh yes, I am. Now I'm gonna pull myself together here, but I have to get this video started, or next thing I'll know, I'll be in the middle of cooking, and I'll be like, oh, forgot to fill, share all the stuff I was doing. So, I don't have anything prepped ahead. I know when I did pack seven, I had cooked the meat the day before while we were doing our homeschool day. I just had the meat cooking out here in the kitchen and I prepped all the vegetables for that. And I had most of the vegetables prepped ahead for yesterday when I cooked pack eight. Anyway, so for pack nine, don't have anything prepped ahead. I think honestly, the ground beef that I need is frozen in the freezer. Real good, Jamarelle. So gonna get that out, get that cooking. Then it's a uh, yeah, it's hair hair color in time. So I'm gonna get the hair color on my head while I cook the ground beef. Then we're gonna dig into all the veggie prep. Probably prep the veggies while the color sits. Then this mama will get a shower. Then we'll put it all together. See, that's our plan. Ready, set, let's do this. Turns out it's only six pounds of ground beef I need to have cooked ahead. I actually, I ended up yesterday whenever I cooked up pack eight. Sorry, my baby's gonna holler at me now for a minute. When I cooked up pack eight, I had some extra ground beef. I think that's what I was thinking in my head, but instead I took that ground beef and instead of coming out with 25 low carb freezer meals yesterday, I came out with about 30. I took that and I stretched it. I made some extra meals. So gotta get some frozen ground beef, get that cooking then we'll get hair color on this hair and be on our way. This is how things are looking from when I cooked up Large Family Freezer Meals Pack 7, which was all low carb meals, and I cooked up Freezer Meal Pack 8, which was also low carb meals. There we go. It's actually looking pretty full. Jamarelle, how are you gonna get all the 25 meals from Large Family Freezer Meal Pack 9 in here? Well, we will. I have things kind of spread out as they were freezing. See, those are stacked oddly because I like to give the pans a little room so they don't smush. So we will we'll condense in here. And then tomorrow, I'm taking half of what I've made. I should have a total of about 75 or actually 80 freezer meals from cooking up these three new packs. And I'm splitting them with one of my good friends who's also a mama of many and homeschooling and working mom and all of that. She's got an empty freezer. So after getting 40 meals from all this cooking, she'll be ready to go. Yay. Actually, I'm gonna do a little condensing while I'm out here real quick. Good way to start the day. Condense your freezer, Jamera. See, it helps to freeze these freezer meals if you can lay them on a metal, like I have a metal baking sheet here. That way they don't freeze into your um, freezer shelves here. So, just a trick I've learned from operator error. Okay, well that sudden inspiration hit and there we go, I just got everything condensed. So I have a lot of the healthy low carb bakes like the cabbage lasagna, beef and cheddar bake, we also have a beef and cauliflower bake, several good bakes up there. Yes, Talking Hand is excited. Stack the meatloaves there, got a drawer full of low carb freezer meals here, got a big stack of freezer meals there. These are all dump and go crock pot meals or instant pot freezer meals, slow cooker freezer meals, whatever you want to call them. This drawer is also full of them. And then over here on the side, I put the stuffed peppers down there. So yeah, we have room now for pack nine. I'm just gonna put this pan back in here. So as we have more freezer meals to kind of flash freeze today, we will do that. Yeah, so now to get the ground beef before I forget. So as soon as I can get my uh, ground beef where I can pull it apart here, I'm going to cook it in my big 22 quart stock pot and I'll put about a cup of water in there, put the lid on, run around and do my other things. Found a shower, worked out my life problems, we're doing well. 
Hair is colored, ground beef is cooked. Just hauled in a big bag of food from my garage refrigerators. While my hair color was soaking and I spared you guys from that, I chopped up a bunch of peppers and onions and got my radishes out, carrots out ready to go. So we are able to do these whole lot, a lot of dairy-free meals. The first thing we're going to do is the Italian sausage and peppers bake. I need to get out three nine by 13 pans for that. And we'll just do that right now, let's go. What I do many times is for myself, I have many nine by 13 and 11 by 15 glass baking dishes that I've collected over the years. Many times I do freezer meals that I'm keeping for myself in those. Sorry, see here. And then I keep a collection of the metal baking pans. I will do some meals for my family in these, but mainly I use these for when I'm sharing meals with others. I don't have any more 9 by 13 glass pans available. Another question I get is where do I keep all of my glass baking dishes? I keep them all under this cabinet here. They usually, they stack well, and what I have in here now is a lot of my larger, I'll show you here. I have a lot of these bigger, this is bigger than nine by 13. I've got a bunch of these here looking at me. Anyway, trying to keep it simple and cook along with the nine by 13 in the packs, I have four of these metal baking dishes right now, and I'm going to use these for the sausage and peppers bake. This recipe calls for olive oil. I'm using avocado, avocado oil because that's what I have. Just showing you my phone here. Here's the recipe that we are cooking up. And it is for the brand new dairy-free large family freezer meals pack nine. I can't believe we made it all the way to pack nine. Woohoo! And it has been almost a year since I've come out. I came out with packs one through three last summer, and then four, five, and six last fall. Here we are again, it's fall already. Finally, packs seven, eight, and nine are out. They're available for a limited time. You can get the entire one through nine bundle for 60% off. That makes them right about six bucks a pack, where they're regularly $14.99. If you already have purchased the first six packs, you can add on pack seven, eight, and nine for 30% off. Those prices are only gonna be for a few more days, so click the first link in the description below to go ahead and get that super awesome mega deal on all of my large family freezer meal packs. My family loves this Italian sausage and peppers bake. It's super easy. It's also a low carb meal. Now in the pack nine, the dairy free pack that I'm cooking today, we're gonna be making about 25 or so dairy free freezer meals. I'm just gonna do a little drizzle of oil over the sausages here. I'm also gonna add in peppers. Now, I would like to do colored peppers in these bakes and have lots of red and orange as well. However, I have a bunch of green peppers anyway that needed to get used up. So we're going for green this time. It'll be good. Then we're gonna do our onion. The recipe calls for minced garlic. I used up all my minced garlic with the meals I was doing yesterday. So I'm just gonna substitute with some garlic powder. Then I'm doing a little bit of basil here. We are all good to go with this Italian sausage and peppers bake, yum. Now I just thought I better tell you the 25 freezer meals that we're making. I bet you would like to know that. So I just made three pans of Italian sausage and peppers bake. We're also doing beef and broccoli, which is amazing. We're doing coconut lime chicken, a whole bunch of tuna cakes, beef fajitas, homemade sloppy joes, our sesame chicken, zesty Italian pork roast, beef stew, and peppered lemon chicken. That's what's going down with this dairy-free pack today. Okay, so next we're gonna do the zesty Italian pork roast. Just got some seasoning mix right here. I'm going to put one of these into each bag. I have two pork roasts left from a long pork loin. Poink, woohoo, listen to all that stuttering pork loin that I bought at Costco. If you would like to see my large family grocery shopping haul from Costco that I did to get everything for what's gonna be a total of 80 
healthy freezer meals. That will be linked down in the description below. But instead of buying individual pork roast, I bought up these about nine pound loins. Then I divided them by thirds, so I ended up with multiple three pound roasts. I needed those for packs seven and eight that I've, packed, that I've cooked the last two days. And I had two left here for such a time as this. Get in there, oh, yes. And then once these are done, since these are just a quick little uh, throw and go, or dump and go crock pot meals, I will take these zesty Italian pork roast and we will wrap up and take the Italian peppers outside. to the garage and keep on trucking. Go ahead and drain my ground beef. Don't worry, I've got a big bowl that it's draining into. That was 10 pounds of ground beef. Whenever we get to do the sloppy joes, I'm making extra because when my kids heard sloppy joes, they were super excited. And since it's a little late to get the sloppy joes going in the slow cooker, the recipe for that is included in pack nine. I'm gonna actually throw it on the stove top. It'll come together nicely. And by the time they get back home with hamburger buns, their dinner will be done. That's our trade off. I have several almost empty things of mustard. We'll use those up. I've been doing so much cooking. My refrigerator desperately needs a good clean out. So yes, light brown sugar going into the sloppy joes. And then I need almost a cup of mustard and my little bits that are left in these bottles. We will use this up. For my recipe with the six pounds of ground beef, you need three cuts, cups of ketchup. We have our soy sauce, garlic powder, onion powder. I'm gonna use this can opener today. Let's see if it's playing along. Okay, so bringing it over here, here's 10 pounds of sloppy joes that we're gonna warm up on the stove and kids are on their way home. We are going to throw together the peppered lemon chicken real quick. Go ahead and add my pepper in. It's supposed to be about a teaspoon of pepper. Again, we're doing eyeballing school. Lemon, I have a couple different bottles of lemon juice I'm using up. Using up some of this avocado oil. Now, next up, we're going to roll through the beef meals. There's a beef and broccoli meal that is so good, so good over steamed rice. There is a beef fajita meal, and then there is a beef stew meal. Of course, we're making multiples of all of those. So, I thought. We would roll into those, and then we have tuna cakes, and another meal after that, but we're getting there. I went ahead and got the beef stew bags going. We've got radishes in here, fresh garlic, parsley, carrots. There's a few more things I need to add in here. But I've got two bags of beef stew here. I added the stew meat and the broth. There we go, pretty colorful bag. There we go, now I'm gonna stop for a minute and get my kids dinner. Okay, so for the kiddos, we've got this whole tray of sloppy joes. And then I've got a bunch of apples here. And I'm gonna have them make their own plates out at the dining room table. Okay, so I know I'm jumping around on you. Just got kids out of the dining room eating. I've been working on beef fajitas. Benjamin, you're here eating apples? Okay, now we're gonna do the beef and broccoli. What you can do with your beef and broccoli, and as the directions say, you take your broccoli, you put it in a separate bag. I usually add the broccoli and then a little bit of cornstarch at the very end. The broccoli will soften within 30 minutes. The cornstarch, you can do one or two ways. You can remove, woo! 
You can remove a little bit of the liquid, mix in your tablespoon of cornstarch, then whisk it back in. What I usually end up doing is just sprinkle my cornstarch into the whole slow cooker, stir it around with a spoon a little bit, add the broccoli, put the lid on it, it all works. Kids are cleaning up from dinner. I am loading up, I just finished this beef and broccoli. Kids have been coming through, trying on clothes for an event later this week. I've been working on this coconut lime chicken. I'm moving in super slow motion. I should have got all this done hours ago while they were gone and I did not. It's okay, we shall continue. So coconut lime chicken, got several of the ingredients in here except the lime. And I'm gonna put some ginger in also. Still have my ginger paste, which is convenient. Okay, so I have made 23 dairy-free freezer meals. I have not done the tuna cakes. I dropped a can of tuna on my ankle earlier. I'll show you my efforts. I have my tuna here, but I'm kind of mommied out. You know how that goes sometimes? like. It's taken me a long time this evening. We've been, I've been stopping for lots of mommy things. I got kids in front of me getting ready for an event and trying on outfits and stuff that's, that are needed. And uh, my, my mommy meter is just like, you know what, I'm done, done in the kitchen. So I got a whole lot done cooking packs seven, eight, and nine. I'm gonna take this coconut lime chicken out, put it in the freezer, and I'm gonna show you where things are. Okay, here's a look at how all this freezer cooking has turned out. We're at between 75 and 80 freezer meals. I'm gonna do those tuna cakes here another night, but this is how everything is loaded down. These items, I will move them off my sheet pan tomorrow at some point. Lemon pepper chicken in the door. Put the fajitas and such there. Just put the coconut lime chicken there, yay. Don't forget, there's just a few days left for you to get the brand new Super Mega Bundle that has packs one through nine for 60% off. That includes the brand new pack seven, eight, and nine. Pack seven and eight are low carb. Pack nine is dairy free. And it still has tuna cakes and you can keep your focus better than me and get your tuna cakes done on one night. But again, this mama's saying, I'm gonna clean this kitchen and go to bed. In each of the large family freezer meals packs, you will have the recipes, the grocery shopping guide, the big batch cooking guide that Hold your hands through all the prep work that needs to be done in advance. It will have the recipes and freezer meal printables and many of the packs, including the brand new seven, eight, and nine pack, also have the single recipe edition, which includes another batch cooking guide and another grocery list. So let's say you don't wanna do 25 to 30 freezer meals at one shot. You just want to do 10 to 12 like a sensible person. We already have those directions in there to slim it down down a bit for you. So click the first link in the description below to get 60% off now while you can. Yay!